What's up, everyone? Hope you're having an awesome day today. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you. Before you head out, give the video a thumbs up. And if you have time, leave me a comment down below. So today I have an awesome unboxing to do for you and myself. Uh, carry the MBK Old Guard in ZDP 189 today. Rock Weld at 67. Yes, Rock Weld at 67. And then my secondary carry for the day was, I still have it in my pocket. Got this out of the knife case last night. It's been a while since I carried this guy. This is the Asher Knives Dougie or the Douglas. This thing is, I love getting into the knife case and getting something out such as this and just remembering how awesome the knife is. Uh, the micarta is amazing. The action is amazing. The thumb studs are amazing. The access to the liner is wonderful. You can use the fuller. The studs are very comfortable. I think at, at work today I got something. You hear that? I think I got something in there. Insulation or dirt or something. So I'll have to take him apart and clean it. He needed it anyway. But uh, this thing, <laughs> you can't beat an Asher. They're, they're so well done. S35, stone washed. Got the AK there and the S35. Uh, I do have a video coming on this soon. This is a great knife for a great price. Uh, he does an awesome job over there. So, we aren't talking about either of those. We are talking about this. This comes from a brother in the knife community uh, who I thank very much. Uh, we did a trade together, a straight-up trade. I sent him, theoretically, I sent it to someone else to be sharpened and then be sent to someone else to ship to him, but a proxy because he's in Australia, but he was able to ship directly to me because the McNeese that I traded him did need a sharpening. So it got sent to a fellow brother, Kyle Kunal, and hit him up. If you need anything sharpened, you can find him on Instagram uh, and you can find him in the chat rooms, on the live streams, good dude. Uh, apparently puts a wicked edge on the knife, so hit him up if you need a sharpening. Uh, but this was sent directly from Australia. It did not take long, actually, to get here. I would say, including the weekend, uh... I think it was like six days, seven days, maybe. So eight tops. But uh, coming from Australia, going through customs in New York, and then getting here within a week, that's pretty cool, pretty impressive. <clears throat> so shout out to Josh. Uh, I won't say his you know, full name just in case he doesn't want me to. But, uh, so we will go ahead and dig right into this guy, and I'm going to keep the Hank there because his address is on there, mine's on there, so when we get, whoop, so when we get this out of here, I will, we won't even need that. What in the world? Okay, so that is all in the package. Good. On both sides, it had both our names and addresses and stuff. So, what in the world? So we will get right in. This thing is so sharp, guys. This uh, Monterey Bay Knives. This is my first one from, first knife from them. And uh, 
I really like it. It just needs a little bit of TLC and uh, it'll be good to go. Maybe I won't slice the hell out of this. Maybe I'll save it. So what do we got here? True talent, <laughs> cool. Some uh, Velcro strips. Nice, a magnet. I got a little stash of them on my toolbox. Lefty and Stevie and Mattisfaction. So I will be adding this to that collection there. So we got that from Russia with knives. And then we got these couple of Velcro. So they're two different sizes. That's what's up. Shout out to Josh, man. That's awesome. A little schwiggity swag with the package. So here we go, guys. Full titanium that's been bead blasted. M390 on the blade steel. This is the no flipper version with a hollow grind and a belt satin. This is the Jaeger M. So I have been waiting to get my hands on one of these for quite a while. Uh, and <laughs> they've been basically eluding me for a year or so. And uh, I missed an opportunity to get one at one point, and I blew that. Looks like it comes with, well, should we open it up? This is an unboxing. So, looks like an extra set of bearings. Oh, maybe he put skips in it. Okay, he put skips in it. Those are the original bearings. You got the Brian Brown card you got a sticker from brian brown and you have the coa this is the version two the full titanium and okay so we have the original hardware and there's a reason that the original hardware is in the bag man josh You've packaged this very well, brother. So shout out to Josh again. Greatly appreciate it, man. When he said he wanted uh, a second McNeese, I jumped right at the chance to get this guy. So, this has a Zerk pocket clip and a Zerk, a full Zerk backspacer. The lighting won't do it much justice at this point of the day, but uh, man, I want to eventually get a little bit more Zerk for it. But uh, this is perfect. So there is the bead blasted titanium. Let's give it a flick. Oh. So there she is open. You have the little Brian Brown logo there on the lock side. Oh. oh. Can we thumb flick it? <laughs> oh, man. So, you know when you get your hopes up and you hope a knife is everything that, you know, you wanted it to be and think it should be, and then you get let down because it's not that? Well, this is not one of them cases. Uh, I have wanted this knife ever since I saw it, and I didn't really care what version. Uh, this is the naked version, basically, but it's outfitted with the Zerk at this point. 
This is a great size for me. You have that sheep's foot cleaver-ish blade, which is sweet. You have the window-shaped hole there, the uh, rectangular-shaped hole. The action on this is awesome. Wow. <laughs> This thing is sweet. So I finally have a Jaeger to add to the collection. No, this one will not be moving on anywhere. Uh, I've been moving quite a few knives and this one will not be going anywhere. Uh, this is awesome. It's weighty too. It, not in a bad way, like it feels good. Uh, since we brought it up, why don't we okay? So, right around 4.5, so that's cool with me. Uh, that's like literally right in my wheelhouse. I don't know why that scale does that. I think because it's cold maybe. But uh, why don't we go ahead and since this is a... So this is right around, I would say, that was my fault. So I'd say this is like right at 150. And then this does have a hollow grind. So we'll check it right there. That's coming right down to like 15 thousandths less than that. Uh, so that is gonna be sweet i don't know how much josh did use this or didn't use it uh but we will i'm sure uh the way josh is we will go ahead and just see what this is hitting for if i know josh he would have made sure it was nice and sharp uh, as I told him about the McNeese before, you know, sending it to his proxy, I, you know, I said, Hey man, this, this edge is not good, you know? And when it got to Kyle, he thought I had used it. He thought I had used the McNeese and I, he was, uh, mightily surprised when I said, no, that is how I unboxed it. I said the only thing I cut with it was two pieces of telephone book paper and then a piece of printer paper, you know, that was a little thicker, uh, just to try out that edge. And he couldn't believe that's how it was sent to me. Uh, but it was, and it wasn't good on McNee's end. But, you know, that that's... No, neither here nor there that knife is gone and this one is in and <laughs> this is awesome uh i have the raptor v2 from brian brown and i love the shit out of that knife and i think i will love this one as well this is phenomenal so I am thrilled to have this guy. Uh, I don't really know how deep, because I'm going to be putting a few more videos out. So you have right at three inches of cutting edge, and then it's like three and a quarter to the scale. And then you're coming down right about seven and a half, just shy of seven and a half on your total. So, a great size. We can do a comparison here with the MBK. Uh, now you guys are at an angle. 
The MBK is a little longer on the handle and a smidge longer on the blade. Uh, this is like my wheelhouse size. Between these two, you know, this is my preferred size right here. Uh, so between from that to this, maybe even a little bigger than this, but uh, this will be an awesome carry here, guys, and I am thrilled. And if I ever get the chance to get another one, I will probably jump on that. Uh, just something about it, I knew that I would love it, <laughs> and I do. So that is awesome, and I am thrilled that it is here. And I want to say thanks to Josh. Uh, thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. And I hope the McNeese finds you well. It'll be coming to you in a lot better condition than it came to me. So I think it will do you pretty well. Uh, and I know this will get a lot of love from me, brother. So... Don't you worry about that. Uh, otherwise, guys, that'll be it. Uh, if you hung around for the whole unboxing, thank you. I appreciate it. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, you see that little subscribe button, hit that little button and ring the bell. Give the video a thumbs up before you head out. And leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you have one of these? Or do you want one of these? Uh, <laughs> this is this has eluded me for quite some time. So I am thrilled that it's here. Alright guys. Thank you. Have a good night. And have a safe night. I will catch you on the next one.